Now, the pressure from the fans and everything, Julian's right, that's all going to come. They're going to want to see it soon, but I think there's a little bit of Bill that knows how to coddle players, especially at the quarterback position, and slowly give them bits that he can digest and understand. So, Max used to the pressure coming from where he came from in Alabama and Nick Saban, mm -hmm. but they'll, 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 they'll work him well. And Mike T, again, you have worked with Bill Belichick, you have saunaed with him, so you have a uh, reasonably intimate knowledge of the way he does his business as well. W what are your thoughts on the pressure here on Mac Jones? Yeah, I think Teddy's kind of contradicted himself a little bit, which is that's why I think they re-signed Cam Newton. They're a much better team this year than last year, and Cam's another year off of surgery. So I expect Cam to play a lot this year, and I don't think there's pressure on Mac Jones in year one. And I know it's not exactly apples to apples, but Tom Brady's rookie year, they kept four quarterbacks on the active roster. Bill Belichick deserves a ton of credit for knowing that if he put Tom Brady out on waivers to get him to the practice squad, he would have lost him. So I don't expect Mac Jones to play a lot this year. I think this team's going to be a lot better. I think Cam Newton's going to play a lot better. So there's a lot of pressure on Mac Jones long term, but not this year. Again, they do have all those quarterbacks because they have Jared Stidham and they bring back Brian Hoyer. So they have all those guys. So we'll see when it mm -hmm. is that Mac Jones gets on the field. Jeff, pick it up from there. Yeah, I think this was a deliberate attempt by the Patriots to, to put the bubble wrap on Mac Jones by sign, adding Brian Hoyer. I mean, when they add Brian Hoyer, like when they already have Jared Stidham and Cam Newton, it's like, what's going on here? In 2000, Tom Brady, as Tannenbaum just alluded to, started that rookie year as the fourth string quarterback. Now, through that season, he worked his way into that backup role behind Drew Bledsoe, ultimately replacing him the following year. But this is the type of thing where, as Teddy alluded to in his experience, Bill Belichick builds you up to break you down. And I really think that that's what will happen when Mac Jones are off the bat. I think he's going to build him up, make him feel comfortable, make him feel confident, and then he'll give him that dressing down like he ultimately wound up giving Tom Brady in front of everybody. Yeah, Mike, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Mike T, on that in terms of I think it's what, what, what interesting to, to think about is how they'll handle the transition when it is if they go from Cam Newton to Mac Jones because of the highly emotional creature that Cam Newton is and how he wears it on his sleeve. So, you know, is that going to be yeah, because yeah. of injury or play or both? So that's going to be a delicate process in itself. And, and there's one huge yeah. difference, Mike T, which I know everybody knows, including you. But Tom Brady was the 199th pick in the draft. Mac Jones was the 15th a, pick in the draft. There will be different point. expectations, Mike T, for getting him on the field. Yeah. Right, but here's where I see it differently, guys. This is a team, and we're not used to saying this, they are built to win right now in terms of how they structure contracts, how aggressive they were in the offseason, who they added. They're getting back Dante Hightower from an opt-out. So I think they're in a win-now mode. And clearly in 2021, Cam Newton gives them the best chance. And I agree with Teddy's points about staying healthy and the run game. But assuming he's healthy, I expect them to play better. And their mindset right now, based on everything they did, is they're trying to close the gap in Buffalo in 2021, not in the future. That's why I think there's more of that bubble wrap approach to Mac Jones. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.